Hey guys, Greg here, Rack and Rock Chronicles, back for another gear breakdown from the backcountry gear list. And I wanted to jump right in on this one because this one isn't technically just backcountry gear. This is something that could be used in home, in a vehicle, uh, anything like that. Um, so you saw from our video the other day uh, on our safety gear was the Badger Industries Badger BX1500 flashlight. And this thing... Uh, you know, kind of badass like a badger. Um, so, uh, this thing is the real deal. Um, so I'm going to walk you through it kind of real quick, um, because there's a lot of points, uh, with this one that, uh, you're not going to get from other flashlights. So first of all, right from the get go, right on the box, this is, I talked about this in the video the other day. Um, so this is a rechargeable flashlight. It comes with a USB-C, uh, high power charger. Uh, cord so that you can get it charged up and basically um, once it's charged as long as you're not using the light okay keep that in mind not using the light you charged it it's at full charge stays charged for two years okay so as long as you're not using the light you have it fully charged this baby will be ready to go at a moment's notice uh, in case of a power outage anything to that nature uh, secondly, the uh, flashlight itself, unlike most flashlights, which only have three standard beam modes and then two special modes, or maybe only one special mode, the 1500 uh, comes with a total of seven modes, so five standard beam modes and two specialized modes. Um, so you have max, you have high, mid, and low. So you're running at 1,500, 600, 400, 150, or 35 lumens. Now obviously, depending on what mode you're on is going to dictate how long the battery will last for. So you start at 60 minutes uh, in max 1,500 lumens. Um, it'll run for an hour. Uh, when you get down to eco mode, which I really like this mode, especially if you're in a bad country, you just want a little bit of light, you don't want to kill yourself, you're... Just try to you know decompress from a day of hunting. Um, you know you want a little light still. Uh, this has an eco mode which runs at 35 lumens, and you are looking at uh, 48 hours of runtime if you left it on in eco mode. Uh, then you go to your specialized mode. So you have a strobe mode which runs at 20 hertz and 10 hertz. So there's two different strobe modes technically, uh, and then you have an SOS mode. And what's cool about the SOS mode is when it's in SOS, it runs at 1500 lumens. Now, if you remember, I just said if you run 1500 lumens dead straight on, it's only going to run for an hour. Well, the way they designed this in the SOS mode, it runs at 1500 lumens, but it'll run for five hours before the battery dies. So, in case of an emergency situation, at nighttime, you can turn the SOS mode on. And you don't, you've got five hours worth of battery life, um, you know, that it'll run on. So, uh, definitely a step above there. Now, this is the packaging that I did receive. And I also have their website up currently on my desktop um, because there was a change. Uh, and this is something that, you know, definitely needs to be talked about. So, right here on the box, it says five-year warranty, okay? I'm thinking when I saw that five-year warranty on a flashlight, man... They're already just crushing their competitors. So I pull up their website because I wanted to double check the price, you know, before I, I jump too far into it. And uh, they have changed it to uh, lifetime warranty uh, against manufacturer defects. So it's standard lifetime warranty. Basically, if it's something they did and the flashlight is not working like it's supposed to be, they're going to cover it. Now, if you chucked it out of the truck window on your way to, you know, hunting camp and it bounced down the road, yeah, not so much. Uh, but <clears throat> give you a good look here. So now this is marketed as a tactical flashlight, not as a hunting flashlight. But because of the lumens and the modes is why I originally looked into these guys and, and why I have one in my hand. Um, so first of all, right here where this little black cover is, is where you're going to plug your USB-C cord into. That's what's going to charge it. Now when I received the flashlight, you know, probably had somewhat of a charge, kind of like a cell phone when you get out of a box. Um, I plugged it in to charge it. It sat charged for about an hour and it was fully charged ready to rock and roll um, so bonus there fast charging 
Secondly, the big reason I love this flashlight is because it is a tail switch. Um, so that's what you're turning the flashlight on and off with. Uh, unlike some of the other ones that have a button up here, um, you know, what happens when it's in your pack, something bumps it, it turns on, you have no idea, you go to use it, and the battery's dead. So, um, definitely like the tail cap switch. Um, it does come with the lanyard, and again, you can run it on your wrist, you can run it through your shoulder strap on your pack, um, there's, a, you know, a billion different ways you can use that lanyard. And then it also comes with the belt clip, uh, or pocket clip, and that is removable, so if you don't like having it on there, you can take it off. Uh, for some people, depending on how you're holding the flashlight, it may interfere with the grip. And you'll notice, like I said in the video the other day, the tail portion of the light is actually thinner than the bezel portion of the light. Uh, and because this is a tactical light, it kind of serves a bigger purpose than just being for a grip. So, uh, weapon mounted tactical lights, um, they make mounts for flashlights that have tail cap switches. Um, so this is actually the correct diameter to fit into one of those mounts. So if you were running it on a weapon, um, you still can turn it on. And what's really great is this beam is visible for 500 yards. So go stand at the end of five football fields. I'm going to whack you with my light and see if you could see it or if I blinded you. Um, so uh, to get to the mode, so once you have it turned on, you'll see this little blue button that glows. Uh, once you have it turned on, that is your mode button. That is how you're going to go through your modes. And if I hold it in, now I'm at max power. And it will shut off. And then if I double tap it is where I get into my SOS and my strobe modes. So, Pretty simple, pretty basic, um, but a plethora of equipment out of uh, or features out of one flashlight. Um, so I would definitely, definitely, definitely recommend Badger flashlights. Uh, they retail at $119.95. Um, they are roughly anywhere between about $30 to, uh, let's see, $30 to about $80 less than their competitors with at least close to similar features obviously again seven modes against probably either four or five um you know it's a t660 61 aluminum uh, aircraft aluminum housing uh it has a battery that will basically once charged will stay for two years as long as you're not using the light uh there's not going to be many lights that you can compare to this it, it's basically apples and oranges at this point so definitely check out Badger, uh, badgerflashlights.com, it's the BX1500. I'm really hoping that at some point they'll come out with a headlamp that matches this because then I'll be set, I'll never have to purchase another flashlight or headlamp again. Um, so give them a look guys, stay tuned for more gear, make sure you click, click the little subscribe button at the bottom, and as always make sure you check out Season 2 kicking off in March on Carbon TV of Rack and Rod TV. Talk to you later.